Well, when we look at the net migration statistics, as I mentioned before, um, a lot of that is the visas that have been handed to um, Ukrainian refugees, to people that have come from Hong Kong, and um, to students and workers. So when we're talking about reducing net migration, which is a soundbite that is often used by politicians, we really need to think about what does that mean when we, when we want to reduce net migration? Does that mean that we want to stop welcoming uh, Ukrainians coming into the UK? Does it mean that we want to stop being a country that welcomes students and offering them world-class education? Does it mean that we want to stop uh, worker visas and we rely on a lot of um, healthcare um, professionals um, um, in, in, in our healthcare system? So really, we need to break down what we mean when we say um, we want to reduce net migration. And actually, IPPR recently did some research which has shown that over the past decade, um, the British public has warmed towards people that are coming into the UK. Um, our attitudes towards immigration is warming. So actually, if either of the major political parties um, had a more open approach to immigration, it wouldn't affect their um, it wouldn't affect their votes. It